Crashing. Crashing with friends. So one in this well, room. group activity, Final Destination. So True. I'm sorry, guys. So yeah, we, uh, we're all going to die now. It's, it's going to be, a, it's it's gonna be a crazy episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Light bulb explodes, shards go into my face. <laughs> the Crashing with Friends podcast always wanted fame. <laughs> Turns out they wouldn't get it until it was after their gruesome deaths. <laughs> Love it. Who's going to throw out the spike strips? The spike strips? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Where are the spike strips coming from? (laughs) (laughs) From the cops chasing us, dude. (laughs) They're going to be chasing us. Man, I watched a video of cops training to do spike strips, and it's just so wild, dude. So wild. I bet. Yeah. Yeah, looks like there's a... You you got to throw throw it out, and then you really got to bring it in, you know, because you don't want to get the next cop coming through, you know? Yeah. You won't be able to get the bad guy and then pull it in. Yep. More yeah. 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 Who's the, the bad guy? I don't know. Jackson <laughs> looks like a kind of bad guy. Uh, he's a bad boy. Yeah. He's the bad boy of hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> bad boy Jack. That's my name. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Joe Jack attack. Joe Jack. How we sounding, Kyle? We sounding good? Oh, shit, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to say, if we sounding good, we can just hop right in. Mm. The cheeky China, the Chinese chicken, something. Chicken of China, the Chinese chicken. Man, I got one of my buddies to watch uh, the Godspeed skate video today, and he was like, dude, this is like one of my favorite skate videos, like, ever. Mm. I was like, yeah, dude, it's freaking good. videos one of the best that I've ever seen it's progression you know it's progression moving skateboarding forward mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. I get what Kyle's saying trick yeah. by trick <laughs> <laughs> yeah push by push yep cause you gotta kick push kick push and coast <laughs> who fucking seen that <laughs> I, don't know, man. I think that's um, Pharrell no um Starts with an L. Uh, Lemony Snicket. Yeah, loser. <laughs> I don't know. We're Dang not it. starting an episode by me looking up something. No, thank you. We're not doing that. We're not doing it. Nah, we don't no. need that. We don't need to know who, who made that I song. think it's Pharrell, and I'm going to look it up just to be like, fuck you, Kyle. Because I think I'm right. I'm going to say Larry the Cable Guy. Larry the Cable Guy. I know it starts with an L. Laurel. <laughs> Laurel. Yeah. It's Laurel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. It's called Kick Push, right? Yeah. Let's say so. Let's hope so. Yeah. Is it Lupe oh, Fiasco? Is it, it is Lu- Lupe Fiasco. Fuck. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. It came to me. <laughs> Fucking Lupe. <laughs> Damn you, Lupe. Told you, dude. Damn you, Pharrell. You mean you should have made the song first. Yeah. yeah, Pharrell, you should have made it first. <laughs> yeah, fucking idiot. Yeah. So I can't believe you got a movie made about you. You didn't even make Kick Push. <laughs> Man, that, that movie does look sick, though. I think I'll probably be the only one in the theater when it comes out, but because I haven't heard anybody talk about it like in the media or anything, but I think it looks badass. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to have a pretty good audience. Cause Def- definitely in bigger cities, for sure. Because those Lego movies were having some steam, and then that Lego Movie 2 sucked. Yeah. So. Yeah. Lego made, yeah. Lego Movie 2 was killed. Yeah, it. not that great. Yeah. Ninjago was okay. Um, Lego Batman was fantastic. Lego but. Batman might be... I don't want to say it's the best of the Batman or the Lego movies, but the first Lego movie is definitely like just as good as the Lego Batman movie. Is it awesome? <clears throat> It was weird going to the theater to see that, not knowing how it was going to be, and just leaving, just laughing so hard the whole time. That first Lego movie is something special. Yeah, It's great. But in hindsight, everything is awesome. Is it truly a good song? Uh, I would say no. Yes. But I do like Tegan and Sarah, the 
ladies that sing that song. They do that song that I was walking with the ghost. Okay. I fucking love that song, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's a good song. Yeah, yeah. We won't talk trash on that because of that scene <laughs> yeah. there. I'm not going to talk trash on them, ladies. <laughs> yeah, so we'll move on. They made that song for a movie. Yeah. 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 Respect to those girls. Yeah, we'll move on to... Respect uh, on their name. <laughs> yeah. yeah, must be. Yeah. Well, this is episode what, Kyle? One. 48. 148 of Crashing mm-hmm. with Friends. I'm Charles Barkley. This is... Who are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm, um, everyone gets to say their own name now. I didn't know I was going to have to come up with a, a new persona. I didn't think um, I was going to say Charles Barkley. Let's say... So I did. I'm Cobra Fight Stick. Cobra Fight Stick? Yeah. I like that. Uh, I'll be... Uh, um, uh, Beef Wellington. Nice. Beef Wellington, yeah. dude. That's Beef such Wellington. a good name. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll go with uh, Big Cup. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I was going to go Little Cup and Help. Yeah. I'm going Big Cup. Big cup. You, you yeah. made the right choice on that one. Yeah. I made the right yeah. choice. Yeah. <laughs> Fill so, a lot of liquid in Big so, Cup. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we got Take a Big, old drink big, big cup, cup and Beef Wellington. <laughs> <laughs> Cobra Star Stick, whatever his name was. <laughs> fight Stick. It's fight Cobra, stick. Fight, fight Cobra stick. Fight Stick. Cobra yeah. Fight Stick. I'm Charles Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the welcome to the episode. Episode. So San Antonio, they got some big ass women. <laughs> That's what he's always saying. Anytime you yeah. turn on ESPN or whatever he's on, he's like, "Man, San Antonio, man, them women up there." <laughs> hey, man, he knows what he likes or doesn't like. I don't know. They've yeah. been stuffing down them churros up there, man. <laughs> yeah. Man, let's go ahead and hop right into it, Kyle. How's your week going, man? Like and subscribe, please. Your vote counts. Vote for us mm. <laughs> on your YouTube. <laughs> Crashing with Friends Podcast 2024. We're leading the polls. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's sitting on one. What polls? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. you. And it's rising. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Caleb's temperature. Whoo! Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sickness passed. Yeah. Infected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my week's been really good. Um, I never thought I would say this in a long time, but I've been listening to a lot. <laughs> Shut the I was gonna, fuck up. I was gonna burn you. Bro. I fucking hate all of you guys. <laughs> Never thought I'd say this, but I'm gay as fuck. Yeah. I just sucked another dick, man. I never thought I'd say it, but I did it. I went through the club, and my butt felt like eight wieners on the way out. <laughs> Kyle Hobbs puts a stamp on the clothes. Oh, like God, dude. I fucking hate all you guys. Hey, man, I love that you're gay. It's cool. Yeah. 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 And pride, man, pride. <laughs> <laughs> No, that fucking band that I was telling you that, uh, Bring Me the Horizon, dude, I finally, <laughs> yeah, it, when I was fucking 16, I would have said, you're listening to Bring Me the Horizon, <laughs> but no. I'm listening to this new album, and I love it a lot. I love it a lot. The new Bring Me the Horizon album? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I did try it out, upon your That's, request. I don't, yeah. yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah, that's I'm, cool. I really <laughs> love that you tried it out. I'm but. still mad about that medium shirt I bought that shrunk to, like, a small. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not forgiving the band for that either. Yeah, yeah man, that's pretty. But the thing is, you could have went full scene kid if you wanted to at that point, though. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do that. You already had the tight jeans. Yeah, yeah. it was like yeah. a teddy bear shirt. But go ahead, sorry, it's always an option. But uh, I fucking listened to it. I had, the guy that was on our podcast two weeks ago, Blake. He told me to listen to it last week, and I listened to it the first time. Thought it was okay. I was like, man, I'll give it another shot because there were some parts with some pretty heavy breakdowns, and. I listened to the whole album again, and I was like, man, this album has a lot of soul, dude. Just like a, a lot of, a, you could just tell a lot of the songs that they really mean them. You know what I'm saying? It's not just like stupid bullshit like their first couple albums were. But then, God, there's some songs in there that are really like kind of cringe. There's like two songs in there that I'm just like, dude, I don't know what you're doing right now. He does some stuff where he's like, I'm here right now. Yeah. And you can tell he's doing something like, <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing, dude. But uh, it's, 
I, I love it, man. I've listened to it like probably six or seven times over the last nice. two weeks. Love it. Yeah. Jackson, now you can give mess, give us your thoughts on it. Mm. Bring me the rise and sucks, and they always will. Yeah, oh, <laughs> no, that's hard. That's my, I don't know. I See, just, I've had a lot of time to true. think about you saying that. And how would you feel if something you did when you were 16, which I know there's something you did when oh, you were yeah. 16 that you don't like, you don't want to be known for your whole life. Mm. How would you feel if like something you did when you're that age, like you never being able for people to like, let you grow, you know what I'm saying? Oh no, 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 no. That's it. It's not entirely that one photo just, that Ollie Sykes took in a bathtub, I'm just saying. bent over where it with like a bunch of rubber duckies in a bathtub uh, yeah. doing a little peace sign. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Like it's something the same Chris Angle would do, never yeah. shout never. <laughs> it's the same thing with the new like all the new Lincoln Park stuff. Like you gotta mm-hmm. actually listen for you, you you can't listen to a band sometimes listening for their old albums. Like the new used album, for instance. You can't listen to an an artist listening for their old stuff. Like you have to open your mind a little bit and go, Okay, this band has changed and I'm gonna listen for how good they are now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, it's I, I I've, I've done that with Bring Me the Horizon's new album, <laughs> House I've, Culture Jackson. Yeah, I've no. I've, uh, I've 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 I've. Look at his shirt; he's wearing a collared shirt right now. I mean, <laughs> I'm different now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you <know? laughs> we heard you leaving the club. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! But uh, no, I completely get you not liking Bring Me the Horizon. Trust me. I completely get it. Yeah, dude. The, some of the songs, I'm like, these lyrics are cringe as fuck, but they're catchy as shit. Yeah. yeah, Catchy as shit, dude. I'm telling you. Trust me. I mean, I try not to have that mentality when bands try to, like, switch up to go to a different route, but it's just so often that they go to a route that I'm like, this sucks. Right. But I never like to bring me the horizon to begin with. Yeah. And, but... From the if I had to listen to Bring Me the Horizon, it would definitely be from like the Count Your Blessings days, but even then I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. still when I listen to that stuff, I feel you, I feel you, but man, some of this new shit's so catchy. Um, I really like it. Will you commit, Connor, to listening to it? Nope. Okay. That's <laughs> no, that shirt thing, dude. They owe me a shirt. Mm. Oh yeah, that's big, dude. Legitimate reason to boycott. That's huge. That's another reason why I hate them. They fucking fucked Connor over (laughs) on his shirt. It was a medium shirt, and it it was shrunk down to a small. Yeah, like how how can I wear that? Extra. I I think it was a small shirt that they gave him with a medium tag that shrunk to an extra small. It probably was. I think they double fucked him. I tried to give that shirt away to people, and it didn't fit anybody. Yeah, no one wanted it. it, Even little Tyler. So it wasn't because your muscles are getting too big, and you're just going to fit it? That's what I think it is. (laughs) Connor was like, I would love to give this to a girl, but, like, fuck, I'm not a creep. Yeah, Yeah. true that. I don't want any girls wearing that shirt. No, no thank you. Only girls fitting into that shirt. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Hmm. I've, uh... I've also been checking out this show called Time Bandits. Yeah? What's that? <laughs> Time Bandits? <laughs> Never heard of it. Oh, wait, yeah, actually, I saw the trailer. Did that. you get confused and thought it said Butt Bandits? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. What is that? No. But I bandits. can't stop. Won't stop. Eric, <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Rewind. Oh, man. But no, it's an Apple TV show, so that's where I got hooked. Ah. And it's Taika Watiti. so the two of them together. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Is that what you... Uh, that picture that you posted on... Okay. Yeah, what's that guy's name? Uh, he's in fucking all of his shit. He's... C- C- Connor's like, he's... I'm Danny Fantana or some bullshit. Connor's always saying Oh, that. Jackie I'm, Daytona? I'm Jackie Daytona. <laughs> like, I think it's the same guy. Maybe. But he plays some, like, demon. But see, the thing is, it's an old 80s movie called Time Bandits. And Taika Waititi remade it. Oh. I can't remember that name. Okay. Yeah. But uh, it's pretty cool. It's just like a, a kid is really into history, and these like thieves show up in like a portal, and he goes on fucking time bandit sh- adventures with them, trying oh, to steal yeah. stuff. But he knows a lot about the past, and they really don't know shit about the past, is what it seems like. But the main t- uh, bandit is Lisa Kudrow, mm. which is pretty awesome. You guys know Lisa Kudrow is from Friends. Yeah, from Friends. So it's like time splinters that are. <laughs> More or less going through time to steal something, and yeah, they're trying to steal 
Yeah. Just, and they get into fights here and there and stuff. Yeah, like they're the, stealing. I think it's the second episode. They're trying to steal. Um, maybe the first episode. They're trying to steal uh, a horse, and it turns out to be the horse from Troy. <laughs> they're like trying the, to steal the, the horse, okay. the whole wooden horse. <laughs> yeah, and they end up going inside, and it, it's just the guys inside are fucking funny. They're all making jokes and shit, and it's just like. Nice. It's very Taika with TD humor, like the whole time. It's I'll check it out. It sounds yeah. good. It, yeah, I'll check it, it out. It, it, I like it. You know, uh, it doesn't take much for Apple TV shows for me to get hooked. You know, yeah. especially because they just have such good production quality on those shows, man. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't yeah. seen an Apple TV show I haven't liked yet. Mm-hmm. Right, I have mm. seen one. It's called Invasion. Oh, I haven't seen Invasion. Yeah, it blows. Yeah, this, they lost me. Yeah. First season was so yeah. good. Second season, it's like, wow, bro. You're focusing on the wrong characters. You're focusing on the wrong yeah. characters, dude. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's how shows go. Yeah. Sometimes they have good starts. But the foundation. Foundation. Yeah. And for all mankind. Those are the ones you should be watching. Yeah. 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 And Severance. And Severance. Oh, Severance is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. New season mm-hmm. comes out this year, right? I think ah. the, end of, the end of this year or nice. next year. Yeah. They showed a little teaser that had a little bit of it, a little bit of it in it. Is, is Ted Lasso coming back? No, nah, yeah, it's done. Yeah, I can, I can see it possibly coming back in the future. You know, yeah. where they're like, you know what, we'll go ahead and do one more season. Yeah, we'll do like a season where it's like, all right, this is them like five years after. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can see that. Ted Lasso gets back with his wife, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Or the show's called Roy, one of those two. I would take that. I would take a Roy show. Maybe not. No, I like the whole ensemble. Yeah. But that last season really didn't I really didn't do it for me. Sure. But uh, I digress. Caleb, how have you been? Uh yeah, I've been pretty good, you know? Good. Good uh good headspace, even the you know, I'm working like crazy, but you know, it's just that time of year, back to school season. Got to gotta hustle and grind. Um, I've been, uh, got caught up on uh, uh, Demon Slayer, so that was pretty cool. I got to rewatch uh, re-watched, uh, all, the, all the different arcs, and uh, I uh, uh, think I'm three, three episodes left, so I, I'll finish that between tonight and over the next couple of days. But other than that, uh, yeah, been, uh, been pretty relaxed uh, outside of work, so... Uh, nothing, nothing new. I got new Hey Dudes, so if, you know they're tennis shoes now. So I noticed them. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. It was, it was, you know, uh, tax free weekend. That was, <laughs> that was the exciting, exciting time of my, uh, my week. But, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, I didn't even know tax free weekend was going on. Yeah, it just got <laughs> crazy all of a sudden in the mall, and uh, yeah, I, I didn't realize either. And then you know, when I saw like just the thousands of people there, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go fucking buy some shoes then. Yeah, like all these people going to like these five stores. Like there's there's <laughs> yeah. nothing left there. It's yeah. like, yeah. it is insane. <laughs> it is. It is insane. They know where they want to hit, and they yeah. hit it. Chick Fil A, yeah. Victoria's Secret, and fucking J C Penny. Yeah, J C Penny. Is that place like, still open? Huh? Is J C Penny still open? J C yeah. Penny is still open. Yeah, that's surprising. As all them places that you see inside the mall right now are essentially living billboards. That's all they yeah. are. Yep. That is really all they are, just living billboards. <laughs> we're, again, we're about to take over like uh, that sports store. Not Dunham's, but the Pro Image, I think is what it was called. Oh, yeah. We're about to take over that store, and it's just going to be storage. <laughs> it's just going to be a bunch of pallets of a bunch of bullshit that we're not selling right now. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. And we're crazy. also going to be taking over the boutique store right next to it. Okay. Which is currently still up and running, but they're about to close down, and I don't think they know that yet. Uh, but yeah, that mall's just gonna become a vintage stock, like storage place, yeah. like <laughs> yeah. And then vintage stock is gonna go bankrupt. <laughs> I like it when uh, video game companies buy malls and turn them into big video game studios. Can we get that going? Yeah, and I can get a QA job there. Come on, video game studios, Joplin, Missouri. Yeah. We got millions of people coming in and out of here. Millions. Yeah. During the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At night, not so much. Not yeah, so much. they don't sleep here. Yeah. <laughs> 9.30 hits, nothing. 
Except for the homeless. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere. They constantly wander. <laughs> we got them. Uh, they're fast, too. You'll see one on 7th, and uh, you're driving to 32nd, and there they are again. It's uh, mm-hmm. it's wild. It is I wild. saw a crackhead homeless walk by Vintage Stock the other day, and he was doing like all the nefarious stuff that you see like villains do, you know? Hunched over. Do, like guys like neck forward and he's doing this with his hands uh, I'm like the fuck is this villain up to man he's gonna go tie somebody up to a railroad track <laughs> he's just walking through the parking lot just like looking around like a freaking like he's got like he's got like the neck movement of a chicken you know where he's like where are these Dalmatians at <laughs> <laughs> there's a guy on the way home every day from work dude and he's always he's always out there and he, he's always wearing nice clothes but you could tell he's not of his right mind. Yeah. And he's always talking to everybody as they're driving by. And I wanna I wanna drive by someday and just like stop by and ask him, Hey, what's your story, bro? Like, but I'm scared. We should yeah. get him on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, we'll do this uh podcast on the street. Is uh is that on Maiden Lane? Yeah. Yeah, I know I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he's uh he's always there, yeah, just talking uh right next to like Aldi and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. He's always got nice for clothes on. Yeah. I saw a dude over in that area that had like no shirt that was like screaming and stuff and like knocking yeah. over signs, those like uh, different like mm. voting signs and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I was like, dude, this guy, is, he's going wild. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's got something to say about this community, yeah, but he needs bit. to do it at a, I don't know, a city hall or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, true that. There's, uh, there's a that. couple little uh, 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 forests there, tree sections. Uh, uh, out between uh, Aldi's and and the Ace Hardware store, where there's like just groups of homeless people living in the in there, and uh, and I like to think that they're they're different factions of homeless people, but you know, mm-hmm. warring tribes. Yeah, yeah, warring tribes. And it probably is. We probably yeah. don't even know. <laughs> yeah, there's some uh, secret underground uh, uh, hobo wars happening in Joplin, Missouri. Mm-hmm. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely, game developers uh, come to Joplin, Missouri. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of inspiration here. Yeah, a lot of inspiration. Like uh, uh, Red Dead Revolver, or Red Dead Redemption uh, 4, but just homeless people were a, a, a GTA uh, hope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. Anyways, how was, oh. your, uh, how was your week, Connor? It was good. Um, yeah, just uh, stayed at home most days. I've been working out. Um yeah, ran a mile Monday, ran two miles Wednesday, thought I was going to die. Yeah. Um, yeah, beat my time by like 20 seconds. Uh, it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, just living life. You know? yeah. <laughs> um, I successfully organized a pizza party at work and feel really good about that. Nice. Um, yeah, when I heard your name across the intercom, I was like, Oh, Connor's in trouble. I was like, well, no. No, Connor's he got successfully pizza. organized the pizza party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the pizza. Yeah. Um, so yeah, My felt, brother, moving up. Man. Yeah, it felt good to get um, pizza for everybody. Um, we had enough money. And uh, <laughs> 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 felt good to make sure that yeah. that all happened. Um, I, was in, I was happy to get some free pizza that day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Free yeah, pizza my day. was good, yeah. 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 Like four or five people got free pizza and felt um, appreciated because of that, I think, yeah. you know. Hell yeah. So, yeah, it felt really good. It's kind of like Jesus and the water and the wine thing or the uh, the fish. And yeah, the, the, the bread. fish. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the fish and the bread. Yeah, and who the, could forget? Yeah. Yeah, and the multiplying. Yeah, the yeah. multiplying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not quite. We're not going to compare Connor to Jesus, but... No, definitely not. But one could almost say Christ-like. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with saint. We'll go with saint. Run up. Yeah. Saint. Saint. Yeah. Saintly. Saintly, indeed. Um, so, yeah, aside from that, I also, like, uh, had this $200 Nike gift card, Ooh. and I bought two new pairs of shoes. Kyle saw them. Um, I'm not wearing them, but, uh, yeah, they're cool. Nice. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice to get free shoes. Absolutely. Um, and then Olympics. I've oh. said enough about them, but really good, really entertaining. Mm-hmm. Um, Watch Canada lose to Brazil in the beach women's beach volleyball final. I was very disappointed just because I'm not a fan of the Brazil team. Mm. Um, but that's just me, my own bias, you know. Yeah. Like, 
Uh, Canada had it going on, is what we're gotcha. <laughs> saying. Gotcha. Gotcha. And Brazil just didn't quite. Um, Which team is the most yeah. attractive? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way, man. I always root for the hotter person. I'm sorry. Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, I won't go too far. Into that. I don't know any of their backstories. I'm just like, she's hotter, so I hope yeah. she wins. Yeah, I mean, and also one had like a much better outfit. Gotcha for the occasion. Gotcha. Yeah, you gotta. And dress I was just for the, like, damn yeah. girl. And then the other ones is like, damn girl. Like, ugh. Like, <laughs> they're getting damned on both sides, but different kinds of damn. Roof. Um, yeah, like. Put Canada. that dog back in the cage. <laughs> Canada had the weird one strap. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I was like, what mm. are you doing to your athletes? Giving them the one strap? Because I saw a, butler, a lot of times they're having to pull up their shit. Mm -hmm. oh. It's like, man, what are you doing to your athletes? Yeah. Give them a the lot, two straps. I mean, even a lot of them with the two straps still had to constantly adjust their stuff after going up and like yeah. spiking it and all, doing the digs. and <sighs> The problems of being a woman in the sports world. Yeah. yeah. Jackson, you know what that's like. A little bit. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. How's your week, dude? Oh, my week. Yeah. Oh, it's been pretty dope. Uh, watched uh, this one movie that someone recommended to me. They were, they just told me it was like, yo, uh, Patrick Stewart is in it. It's whenever he was younger. It's like his first on screen kiss in a movie. Ah. And like that's all I'm gonna tell you about it. And I was like, okay. And I started watching it. Within the first fifteen minutes. Hardcore mystery science theater vibes, like, dude, this the cheese on this is yeah. next level. But I'm still like drawn into it, watching it. Mm -hmm. And then you get to the like the main premise of the movie, which is like these alien vampire types that have like special powers. One of them wakes up and it's a female, and she's naked throughout the whole movie. Nice. Dude, she's so naked at one point she blows up a building. <laughs> Oh it's my god. Fucking nuts. Wow. <laughs> but check please check it out. I promise you're going to love it. Like if you Damn. just go with the with the idea of like it's so bad it's good, mm -hmm. you you're going to have a fun time. It's called Life Force. Life Force. Life Force. Life Force. Force. Okay. Yeah, Life okay. Force. One word. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. It's fucking amazing. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to watch it again sometime. She's so naked she blows up a building. Yes. Okay. So naked she blows that's up crazy. a fucking building, bro. And that's just a portion of her destructive powers I'm just assuming. a small portion of her destructive <laughs> powers <laughs> damn okay <laughs> shit um i also after i got done watching that i binged watched all of i think it's called devil man crybaby on netflix okay uh, yeah i watched that one holy it's, shit dude it's crazy yeah it <laughs> is really crazy uh, i don't know if i'd say it's good but it's it's wild for sure I w if I never would have watched the final episode, I would have said that it was good. Mm. But that final episode really made it like a, what the fuck? Exactly. It's so. very, yeah, it's hard to recommend to anybody, to be honest, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you, I mean, if you want to see some crazy wild shit, because basically what I was getting from it was take like the last two episodes of that show Berserk, like the super insane gnarly shit happening yeah, the crazy and stuff. basically just turn that into a 10 episode series mm -hmm. and and i'll say this dude the art style in it was really fucking cool yeah yeah true like yeah all oh man it was oh my, my rating for it is going to be a 9.5 out of 10 it's just that last episode and how it ends is just so fucking weird really mm -hmm. And yeah. yeah, like I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna explain anything that happens, but you're, it's basically heavy metal for people that just wanted to see nothing but tits and visceration. People getting eviscerated, dude. Yeah, yeah. some crazy stuff. It's yeah. gnarly. So I mean, watch the first episode, and if you don't like it by that first episode, then just stop it because yeah. you're not gonna like anything more. Was, and I promise you, it's gonna get way darker. It was Devil Baby Man Cry? What it's called it? Devil, Man yeah. Cry Baby. <laughs> Devil Man Cry Baby. Okay. Yeah. I think this is the third iteration of Devil Man. Okay. And yeah. supposedly they just keep remaking like the same, they keep going off the same source material over and over, but every time they remake it, it just gets crazier and crazier. Oh, uh, okay. So, I don't yeah. know. I thought about watching the old ones, but everyone said like, dude, if you watch the Cry Baby one, then there's, you don't need to watch the other ones. Gotcha. Because you just watched the craziest one. 
Mm. So now I'm on the hunt for another crazy anime that I can watch. Hopefully one that can top that one. Mm. But because that's what <laughs> Connor's like, fuck. You want to top that, huh? <laughs> that's all, yeah. <laughs> I want to. I want to see. Yeah. I want to see if something can top that. Because that's how I get with horror movies. <laughs> I watch. I'll watch like one horror movie. I'm like, man, that was fucking nuts. I wonder if something can top that one. Mm. And so okay. far, no one's been able to top like the top two horror extreme horror movies that I've seen. I'm always on the hunt. Mm-hmm. I'm always on the hunt, but I'm I refuse to watch like certain extreme horror movies. You know, like the uh, what's basically ones that are just straight shock effect. Oh um, mm-hmm. yeah. There's one specific one that Charlie Sheen watched. It was like a Japanese, almost kind of found footage movie. It was called The Flowers of Flesh and Blood. Okay. The entire movie is just a girl like strapped to a bed and a Japanese dude in a samurai suit just removing digits from her piece after piece by piece. That's the entire movie. Jesus Christ. And when you're watching it, you're like, yeah, this is fake. But I don't. But Charlie Sheen, he was all coked up, so he saw uh, it and it was like, "Oh fuck, I'm yeah. calling the authorities." Uh-huh. <laughs> and so that movie got famous. Was Charlie Sheen yeah. watched it and was like, "This is real." <laughs> yeah, nice. So, and those movies, it's like <laughs> those <laughs> movies. It's like I watched like two minutes of it. I'm like, I get the gist of this and yeah. watch something different. Well, that's cool, Charlie Sheen, to call the cops, though. You know, you, you yeah, wanna, you want to think that, really. Yeah. So, well, I mean, uh, like a lot of people would have just sure. watched yeah. that and been like, ah, crazy movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I watched Devil Man Cry Baby, and it was Devil fucking Man nuts. Mm-hmm. Anyone that wants to watch just an insanely hardcore act, like super bloody, got boobies. Mm. Basically, like I don't know. It's as far as like my favorite animes go. It now goes above. I would say probably what's that one I was talking about? Death Note. Okay. It goes above Death Note for me, but it doesn't beat out Dragon Ball Z or mm. ah fuck, what was that other one? Blue Blue Eye Samurai. Oh yeah, That's doesn't beat out those two. So you're saying it's like number three on your list of all time favorites? It's like I fucking loved it, dude. Because mm. it, it it really just it gave me exactly what I wanted, dude. Okay. Just fucking pure carnage. And tits. As to I where. Mean, Whenever I watch like yeah. other show, other animes, whenever I'm looking for like just fucking pure carnage, I only get that in maybe one or two episodes, maybe one or two episodes a season. Okay. Castlevania is a good no, example no. of that. But like, why? But here's the thing, Jackson. Why? Why do you like? I know you like want to see it, but like, why do you want to see it? In the back of at the root of this issue, what is the reason why you want to see someone mutilated? That's a weird way to put it like that. But I just like seeing fucking crazy. I've just loved horror stuff ever since I was crazy. So whenever I can see simulated horror, uh. then it's like, all right, I like to see how fucking hardcore it can get. You know? But why? Why not? Yeah, yeah. Caleb, answer this question for it, him. It's it's mm. just a type of thrill. Gotcha. You know? Mm. Why do people fucking jump out of what uh helicopters? <laughs> when uh, so how they can old, die? How old, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Duh. how old were you when you first started watching horror movies? We already talked about that. He yeah. was like okay. a baby or something. <laughs> yeah. uh, I was, yeah. Come on, I was a little kid. I was yeah. probably like five or six whenever I watched. Uh, Alien and Poltergeist. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. And, and since then, I've just been hooked on it, dude. Yeah. And plus, yeah. it was always one of those things that my parents never wanted to watch. And uh, whenever, and they would try to actively keep me away from it. The forbidden gotcha. fruit. Yeah, like it, the, well, it was a forbidden fruit type thing, man. The pastor's daughter oh. type, uh, <laughs> type scenario over there. Yeah. So, the secret candy. That's, that's why, right there. For me, in my opinion, Devil Man Cry Baby. <laughs> gets like a seven, okay. It, mm. it gets like a because of the things you said. Animation, <clears throat> excuse me. Mm. Animation. The story is pretty good for the most part, but there's certain decisions in the story that I really hate and think that it takes away from the story in a big way. And I think you probably know some of the stuff that I'm talking about. The stuff at the end where uh, someone gets cut up and like put on a pike and stuff, and it's just like. Mm. It's just mm-hmm. like it's it's very oh yeah um, off putting to the point where I'm like dude, 
I enjoyed a lot of this up until what you just did with this character and this moment. And it's like, you didn't have to do that. There's no need for that. Gotcha. Um, it was just like, it was uh, like doing something for the sake of doing it for shock value. Uh, Th that's how I yeah. felt. It's like this in no way made the story better. It actually made the story worse. Mm. And because of that, it's not like it was like, like he was saying up until a lot of that, I was thinking like nine, like it was like one of what, like really good anime, but then it's like, okay, it really ends just, on a bummer, man. You shot <laughs> yeah. yourself in the foot. Therefore, like to me, any story, the beginning is great, but it's all about the ending. If you yeah. do not nail the ending, you cannot be a masterpiece or, anywhere close to a masterpiece and that includes anime so i would not put it it's not even on my top like 15 like honestly dang but for jack it like but was for like, jack it hits his but his like, his g yeah. spot right, 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 right at the end yeah. <laughs> like i just want to get my opinion out there just because i think like as an anime fan i've watched a lot and like i know like a lot of people will find some stuff in this very disturbing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you and I are both completely, like, different when it comes to, like, watching anime and what our, what our tastes are. Yeah. I know what good anime is, and there is some good <laughs> anime in there. There is some yeah. good stuff in there, but it's not what you want. Gotcha. <laughs> it's not what you want. Gotcha. Okay. But, hey, if you want the gore, like Jackson said, you can go in there for some gore. That's what I, I want in there, just one just fucking... Pure crazy gore, and that's what I got, man. It it straight delivered, man. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it delivered the best yeah. of like any anime that I went looking for, like it for that kind of stuff, you know. Wow. Mm. It it fucking delivered the best, so that's why I'm on the hunt for something else like that. Gotcha. Yeah, there's some scenes in that where like entire rooms of people just get slaughtered, and it's just like. Damn, like I just watched that happen. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's wild. It was, where would you guys put Blue Eye Samurai on your all time list? Probably yeah. around f five or six. Yeah. I, man, for me, it's yeah. probably number two behind, nice. DB, behind the original DBZ, you know? Yeah. I kind of, I, I, I cheat and I tend to. Just lump Dragon Ball up into one big thing. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon uh, Ball Super. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. But I throw out Dragon Ball GT. Mm. I think a lot of people throw out yeah. Dragon Ball GT. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone was like, that ain't, man. Yeah. That ain't part of it. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I think Zoids would be probably my number three. Did you watch Blue Eye Samurai? Kid? Oh yeah, yeah. I how, it. how high is it on your list? You uh, think? on my list, mm. I'd say, uh, I'd say uh, three or four. I'd say three or four. A good solid three or four on my list. Uh, next to, because uh, uh, I really enjoy. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, G -G 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 Kaizen. That's uh, that's uh, that's one of my that's one of my favorites. Jujutsu Kaisen, yeah, yeah. some good shit. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, that second season was crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Have you ever thought about your top five, Connor? All not, time of animes? No, not really. It'd have to be like Jackson said. Dragon Ball's up there. I wouldn't put it number one, but I do love Dragon Ball. Um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh yeah, Bleach. Yeah, yeah that's some um, good shit. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot of anime out there. Those are just the ones that are initially popping into my head. But I mm. mean, yeah, like you said, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. There's fucking Demon Slayer now. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, Solo leveling just came out, but it's probably like lower on my list. Say what? How high would you put My Hero Academia on there? It's probably like a a five or a four somewhere up there. And also uh, Naruto. I mean. Yeah. That and the ship you didn't like. Unfortunately, it's not all great, but it is. Right. It is. There's a lot of good stuff in there, but yeah, yeah. I don't Unfortunately, know. my top five is only horror anime because the only uh, anime that I've ever watched outside of horror anime is Dragon Ball Z. I like he was saying Death Note too mm -hmm. is also one that yeah. would be up there for sure. Death Note, yeah. Death Note yeah. for me is the, the manga is great. I just don't mm -hmm. care for the show and stuff and all the live action stuff. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't watch the that live action yeah. was dog shit. Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Mm. And it had William Defoe. I mean, there's also yeah. like a bunch shit. of uh, there's a lot of good Gundam 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. There's there so much. There's so much really good anime that it's like it's hard to say. Then yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's hard to make a, a definitive list, but I can definitely say that. Cryberry, <laughs> Devil Man Cryberry, <laughs> Cryberry. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That would definitely not be on the list. It just not on the it list. Just wouldn't make the list. Would it be like yeah. list adjacent or like? <laughs> nah, I, that, it'd be on the list of anime that almost was great. Gotcha. Like, the thing is, like, like, like gotcha. it'd be there with like Berserk, like okay. he was saying. Mm-hmm. I watched Berserk, loved it so much up until there's a point where shit goes crazy. Someone gets. Uh, no. A sexual crime committed against her, oh. and then um, it's all fucked up. And I'm like, dude, I don't even want to fucking watch this anymore. Yeah. You know, I just over it. You know, yeah. Because you know, basically, like they just take like all the characters that you've grown to love, and then it's like, all right, watch them die miserably, Damn. miserably, like path- like pathetically, dude. Yeah, and watch the it's hero like- get like put like pinned down to the ground while this thing happens to this girl that he loves, and it's just like, dude. Yeah, forced to watch. Yeah, Jeez. it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, so it's just like there's a bunch of anime out there that's just like, oh man, I was really liking this, and then boom, it's like you decide to go off the rails, and now it sucks. Yeah, but another good one, Gantz. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I was gonna start Gantz. Yeah, dude, Gantz. Isn't yeah, that dude. the one like their like mind is like part of like a video game simulation or something like that? No. Not like sword art, but no. What happens is, um, so. Uh, these two characters at the beginning try to save this guy that's like in a subway like he falls like a drunk dude falls down in the subway they're trying to help him up they get him up and then they start running because the subway's coming they get killed and then Mm. they end up waking up in this like apartment and uh, they get told that like there's like a countdown and they gotta put on this black suit and then um, by the time the countdown goes down there's like a a picture of an alien and they've got to go hunt this thing down by the by the end of another timer, and uh, if they survive that, then they get to keep on living. But if they die, then they die for good. But like you can rack up points and stuff, and you can get yeah. either like new weapons. You can bring people back to life, okay, oh, and stuff. And cool. like like when you're done with the mission, uh, you'll start getting like scanned, Ooh. layer by layer, so you can see people's brains and their eyeballs and stuff while they're getting scanned. Nice. And it's like, as long as you're still breathing by the time the mission's over, even if you've lost like half your body, you'll start getting scanned and then you'll be fully brought back in the apartment. Uh. Um, but like uh. the missions get like progressively harder and more difficult. And then you find out that like all the missions were actually like a prelude to like this crazy invasion that's happening of these like giant like alien dudes. Okay. Yeah. It kind of sounds like a little bit of Ender's Game meets that Tom Cruise movie. You and know what last, I'm saying? Last Starfighter. Uh, <clears throat> but the cool yeah. thing is like they've got all this sci fi tech. Like this black suit that they got enhances their abilities. Mm-hmm. So if you use the suit, you can take a lot of damage, but you can also like jump around and Ooh, yeah, do dude. a lot of yeah. cool stuff. Okay. They've got like swords, they've got guns that like shoot invisible. But, like, when you get hit by it, it, like, explodes that part mm. of your body. It's pretty cool. Fuck yeah. Kind of sounds like Tenet when you get, when they get shot in Tenet. Mm. Yeah. It explodes. It's yeah. like an implosion. Yeah. But, yeah, it's it's another really cool one. What's that one with the, with the mechs you were talking about last week with the, you said they had their, like, a brain inside their stomach or something like that? Oh, Evangelion? No. That's, mm. uh, that's where, like, three people... Like fused together inside the mech, it's like oh. I think it's kind of like a transgender, a pseudo transgender anime or something. I I can't remember, but like it's yeah, it's like it's usually like three pilots, like two guys and a girl, or two girls and a guy, or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, it's kind of weird, but and they just like fuse their brains together. And... I think their bodies fuse together. Oh. I think it's been a long time since I've gotcha. watched that one, but it's it's weird. <clears throat> Was that one of the better ones, or some people really like it? I thought it was okay. I would prefer a Gundam over Evangelion or yeah. like a, a, a Robotech. Robotech is pretty good. Yeah, there's some really good stuff there. Yeah. How high do you think Robotech would be on your list? Around, th- not making the list probably, but. Uh, <laughs> not being, even the just, Macross? Just, be, just being honest, probably not Probably not making the list. Yeah. But, yeah. but mm. it's still really good if you're into old stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I've never seen it. And that's been our anime corner. Nice. Haven't had one in a while. Yeah, that corner. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. 
Woo! What's a perfect day look, to, look like to you guys? What's the perfect day look like? Yeah. Oh. Ha ba ba da ba. my swag on. Uh. Perfect day. I don't know. It's a, <laughs> what would be the perfect day? Connor, what's the perfect day look like to you? So I wake up to that song that I was just singing. Um, Everything is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, Turn My Swag On by Soldier Boy Tom. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I wake up to that song. And like, ideally, I like float out of bed, you know? Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. initially, like I don't want to touch anything. There's no alarm. It's, it's just like my eyes, like everything is feeling good. Um, Already fully clothed? Mm. No, but oh. the clothes like at, like I just like float into the shower or, like I just, the water runs over <laughs> yeah. me, you know. I don't. It's like all telekinetic here. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's just like I'm just like living, um, breathing, and then I'm fully clothed. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, it's pretty quick. There's a quick transition there. Um, like a Wonder Woman turning thing kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but then like uh, initially, I get told that. I, you know, I've won a lot of money, you know, so I don't have to go to work anymore. And I yeah. feel really good about that. Um, I tell the mayor of Joplin that I'm buying Memorial Hall and I'm turning that into my castle. Nice. There you go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Um, I hired Jackson as my butler because he's my main dude right there. Um, yeah. Kyle's going to clean the cars. Nice. Caleb's going to mow the lawn. Hell yeah. Love mowing. I'll just be cooking so you guys can... Uh, come eat the food oh uh, i get a job and i get meals hell yeah, yeah. I'll cook for you guys. Hell yeah, yeah yeah that i mean that's a perfect day right yeah. i mean new yeah, jobs for everybody um but yeah <laughs> i like i don't know i'd say like a big cake shows up at some point okay like a real big cake um maybe a stripper inside of it oh, maybe not yeah. maybe there's a stripper on the side and she feeds me the cake that's you know that's yeah. it's a big ass cake yeah yeah Big ass cake. Big ass cake, yeah. Eating cake off that big ass. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, just, uh, yeah, from there, like, I'm, I'm driving my cars around, having a good time. Um, I mean, I don't want to marry a stripper, obviously, so maybe, sure. like, a, a real girl comes around who's not into that yeah. work and she wants to marry me and I'm like alright I guess I got all this money <laughs> good day man yeah, I got all this money and stuff. like her twin sister that, that, that chose to, to be like a doctor or something instead of a stripper true yeah. yes yes yeah. I like that I like that idea um, but yeah just uh, yeah nothing nothing too crazy um, I guess I'm a superhero and I get a castle so I mean that's yeah sounds like a perfect day to me yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah Absolutely. And go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a perfect day yet? Anybody? Yeah. I got one foreman. <laughs> I got a perfect day. Yeah. All right. I wake up in silk. Okay. I've had a finally, I've had a good night of sleep. Finally. Finally. Finally, I've had a good night of sleep. First thing I do, I look over and I have some sex. Nice. I'll have mm -hmm. some some good sex. Some real some wet sex, huh? Real wet. Yeah. But tasteful. Sloppy. Tasteful. Yeah. Tasteful. Classy. Tasteful, yeah. I'm Hot also... pig sex. Sloppy. <laughs> 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 it's... The sex is so good that I'm worrying that I might be a slut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled out the top, got out the good baby oil, and just fucking pow, pow, pow. <laughs> Fucking Iraq, motherfucking Lord of the Rings up in the shit. <laughs> oh man! And then I have a I, I skip skip the shower all that shit because I'm perfectly clean yeah. already. You know I come out of the I come out clean. Fuck with the shower. It's not part of my day that I look forward to is showering. To be honest. Mm, okay. So I instantly, man, I'm having this breakfast, dude. It's like brick. It's it's biscuits and gravy. You guys heard of it? <laughs> yeah. I think, what? <laughs> I think sometimes they might put sausage in it, maybe. Boom, that's the yeah. kind I want. Okay. Biscuits and gravy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm eating some bacon, too. Nice. God, the go. thing is, when I was a kid, Crispy. I hated bacon, but now I love it, dude. Yeah. I love bacon. I love bacon. bacon. I look, when I was a kid, I did not like crispy bacon. I liked... 
I like to straight up microwaved for the most part, you know. That's how I liked my bacon, but now okay. I love it like almost straight burnt. Yeah. And there's like yeah. nothing better yeah. than the smell of it when you wake up. Yeah. Like you just like, oh fuck, yeah, this is what we're doing. Mm-hmm. I'm that way with coffee. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Shit, that's rolls. not my perfect day. Cinnamon roll, yes. Yeah, I'll throw yeah. a cinnamon roll on my yeah. perfect day. Oh, yeah. man. Cinnamon roll cake. Yeah. That cinnamon roll cake we ate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Make some cinnamon roll candles, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Then after breakfast is done, I have more sex. Okay. Yes. There's nothing wrong with yeah. more. Yeah. A little bit of brunch sex. You know what I'm saying, yeah, dude? I dude assume that I had sex with a stripper <laughs> and a girl that marries me. Okay, yeah. everybody. <laughs> No, I, I assumed it. I assumed it. <laughs> all right. You all right. clearly, at the end of the day, just went to sleep. <laughs> we heard you. But uh, in bed by eight, asleep by twelve, <laughs> dude. <laughs> okay. After that, man, I go to my DJ studio and make some sick beats with Dr. Dre. Eminem yes. shows up. Fifty Cent shows up. Oh, we make some good shit in dude. the club. Yeah. yeah. After my studio time, I go out. I play a little bit of disc golf. Okay. Hit an ace. No, I don't hit one. Every single hole is an ace. That's the perfect day. Excitement from hole to hole to hole. Every single hole, you're like, damn, this is insane. I don't know if I'd be excited anymore. I would be. I'd be like, damn. I would, dude, if you hit 18 aces in a row, I would stop signing your disc. I would just wouldn't even care anymore. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Like, I do. I, I signed like nine of these. <laughs> I I'm good. spit on your disc after mm. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, my perfect day, I hit all the aces. Yeah, fine. Yeah. It's your perfect day. Your yeah, perfect day. my perfect day. When I'm done, you know, I got no bugs on me. You know? No bugs on me. <laughs> 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 Hands are already clean. Don't have to worry about that either. Um, before dinner, have a little bit of before dinner sex. Nice. Of course. Mm. Are you bringing the biscuits and gravy with you? No, man. Yeah. For dinner, I'm having freaking gumbo, dude. Oh, gumbo, yeah. God, I'm having so much gumbo. And maybe I'm going to have a steak on the side. Yeah. You earned it today. Yeah. And maybe a big old baked potato. Yeah. Yeah. What's on that baked potato? Man, I'm going to put some fucking sour cream. Ooh, yeah. Duh. I'm going to put some butter. I'm going to put mm. some salt, some pepper. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put... Some more bacon on there. There we go. You know, fuck it. Put some biscuits and gravy on there, too. Yeah. Wow. (laughs) Maybe a little bit of chili. Yeah. Some pancakes. (laughs) 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 A little bit of syrup. Throw a brat in there. Fuck yeah, man. And then I'm going to eat all that shit. And then after that, I'm going to have a little bit of after dinner sex. Mm. And then I'm going to watch. Yes, too. I'm going to watch the last two episodes of Battlestar Galactica. I'm going to have myself oh, a good yeah. cry because I love that shit. That's good. I'm not a freak. I wasn't going to call you a freak. I All think right. it's awesome you cry, Kyle. Mm. All right. And then... Bef- I always feel so good after a good cry. <laughs> right, yeah. right, 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 right. And then I'm going to record a podcast with my friends. Nice. And then I'm going to tell them to get the fuck out. I'm going to have some more sex. Mm. And then I'm going to go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you told us to get out. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's my perfect day. So that way we weren't having sex with you. So Yeah. Yeah. All this All sex right. nice. <clears throat> is with my wife. Yeah. That was implied. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thank God. I thought you were wanting to have sex with the bugs. No, <laughs> no bugs. No bugs. <laughs> no bugs. You're like, you got no more bugs on me. Until I go back to that sex with Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> the bugs are just sheathing my penis. That's all they're doing. Oh my God. That's just the sheath. <laughs> yeah. Jackson, what's your perfect? Or Caleb, what's your perfect? I mean, either you guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, are you guys together in your perfect yeah. day? You could yeah. be. I wake up, I kiss Caleb on the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> so our morning starts with sex, too. <laughs> Some fucking railing, man. Some hardcore railing. A tub of biscuits and gravy. (laughs) We both weigh an extra pound whenever we leave the bed. (laughs) Like, where did that extra weight come from? We're about eating that cake, too. (laughs) Uh oh. Someone getting called. Is that you? Yeah, Kyle's acting like. We're the phone guys here. He's the phone guy this time. Which one of you fuckers is it? <laughs> so weird. Why did that start? All right, keep going. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, you guys are fucking each other. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah <laughs> but, uh, we just got out of the uh, the tub of gravy. I want to say <laughs> nice. Uh, it's a tub. It's like a tub. A, like, like a bathtub. Like a hot tub. Yeah, yeah. KFC gravy. Oh, too. okay. It's yeah. like a, it's not like well, a like butter tub. Well, you know, maybe it's maybe like it's the mid two thousands KFC oh, gravy. Okay, there we go. Nice. Yeah. You got sausage in there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two. <laughs> 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 Obviously, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. <laughs> the fuck you at, Cal? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, my perfect day would be. Uh, I wait. want you guys to continue your day. <laughs> I'm good on that. <laughs> <laughs> More fun. <laughs> Connor comes in. We fuck each other. I assume there's gonna be a lot of pounding. A lot of that's pounding. Just, that's just the whole day. There's a there's like a, a 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. nap. <laughs> some, some, some light a, spooning. A little picnic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, so yeah, I, uh, I wake up and, uh, I'm on a yacht, I'm on a sailboat yacht, a nice, uh, 54, uh, 54 footer. And, uh, it's just a beautiful day out in the middle of the ocean. Uh, then, uh, you know, I'm going to lay around and be lazy and feel the, uh, the, the nice breeze and the ocean carry me away. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, you know, mermaids probably aren't real, but, uh, you know, if one was real and happened, uh, happened upon the boat, I try to, I try to have sex with the mermaid. I don't, I don't exactly know how that would, that, that would work. You know, because the top half is is the lady part. Just uh, I was gonna say, I thought you were gonna switch it up because the top half yeah. is a fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was easier to figure out the sex part because the bottom half, but the top half. Wow. I don't know how I'm gonna have sex with that though. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a perfect day, you know. Uh, no, uh, no storms. Uh, you know, light cloud coverage out in the middle, uh, out in the middle of the ocean. Just, uh, just enjoying the uh, the openness of uh, of it all, and and uh, really just see how how vast that water is. Uh, but yeah, that's a uh, that's a perfect day. You know? Oh yeah. Then like uh, falls swiftly by uh, by uh, the perfect storm the next day, and oh. I'm gonna survive it though. Yeah, I'll survive it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Nice. I was about to say you're gonna talk to your dead dad through the radio, but that's frequency. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, movie. Um, I wake up right. <laughs> 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 I wake up from my water bed. Ooh, yeah, oh, classic. Okay. Word starting off here. This huh? is a king size water bed king that I'm talking Wilson. about. And this is the one that's from motherfucking Goofy movie. It's got fish right. in there. Man. Look, How do the fish survive? Beautiful tropical fish. Okay, coral. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is the pizza in there too? <gasps> Were they eating pizza? You know, I'll bring the pizza in, but you know what? The pizza doesn't come until later, till okay. when I want it. All right, fair, <laughs> fair. Um, wake up from my water bed, take a cold shower, walk into the kitchen. Anna De Armas is making me some delicious espresso coffee. Mm. Uh, she's like, you, you want how you always want it, darling? I'm like, yeah, bunch of sh- cream and sugar, baby. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and then I, that's it. That's really <laughs> that's it, man. Good day, right there. Yeah. Anna De Armas is waking up next to me, and then she's making me coffee. Yeah. That's like the best day already. So, mm-hmm. why the cold shower? Did I say a cold shower? Yeah, I think so. I or mean, a cold brew. Oh, I don't think I said a. Cold anything? Oh, I I heard cold shower. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe not. It was maybe. Caleb, were you yeah. cold? Maybe. No. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. We'll we'll find out later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got replay footage. We'll find out later if I said something cold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I said anything cold. <laughs> Jackson, did you use nah. That? Fucking, the house I'm living in is like fucking. You know, all white everything. She's Ooh. wearing all white yeah. uh, sundress. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Enya is playing in the background. It's fucking uh, it's, beautiful. What What's a better day? It sounds yeah. like heaven. It sounds like heaven. Yeah. That really is heaven, probably. Waking up next to Enya D- Darmit. Ah, I can't even say her name now. Mm. Waking up next to that angel. angel. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That beautiful angel. That beautiful angel. She tricked Keanu in Knock Knock, but yeah. I'll forgive her that. Yeah, watch Knock Knock if you want to see her. 
Mm. Mm. about that. No, I randomly was... Luck. I randomly like saw some random fact about it. It was on a YouTube video, and it was just talking about um, the cast of Knives Out, and he gets to Anna de Armas, and she's like, she's been nude in 60% of the film she's been in. And I'm like, how come I haven't seen all of them? Mm. So, yeah. I just knew of Knock Knock. Sweet girl, though. Sweet girl. Angel. Yeah. Angel. Sweet treasure. angel. A treasure <laughs> that must be protected. Yeah. I want her to know that I care about her. Yeah. She, she knows, Jackson. She knows. She definitely knows. I would treat her so good. <laughs> Can we reach out to her somehow? If, if anybody out there knows her. Yeah. Can we... Can we get a grasp on it? Yeah. Jackson's like the diamond in the rough. Mm. He's Aladdin, you yeah. know. I really am Aladdin. <laughs> I've got I got vests for days. <laughs> Street rat. Riff raff. I don't buy that. <laughs> oh man. I just need the monkey sidekick with the little hat. Mm-hmm. That's all I need. Yeah. With a matching vest. You'd probably yeah. eat your face off. Probably would. But you'd like it. No, not a monkey that tiny. No, you don't no. think so? Nah. No. I think I think a monkey yeah. that small I could I could overpower and fight it. Yeah. Still. They, it's like, once you get to like chimp size, that's when they're gonna yeah. eat your face. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think you'd be surprised. Not that they'd get a bite in, but yeah, you'd gets, be able to it, it would scratch and claw and bite at him, but Jackson's yeah. like what, twenty times his weight? Yeah. You don't think after so. a bit Jackson's it's, it's, nose off, he would just be like, fuck it, I'm dead. No, it, yeah. it's best bet is to, <laughs> no, dude. It's best bet in the trying to win a fight against me is if it like Sorry, robs dude. me blind first, dude. If it some <laughs> it's, if it somehow figures out to rip my eyes out, then I'd say it might get me. Still my yeah. keys. Even then while I'm blind, I might be able to just grab its head and be like, Oh, I finally got you and then find the nearest thing concrete. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Little monkey. That monkey. Yeah. What that what that monkey ever do to you? So I'm not saying the monkey did anything to me. Maybe he attacked first. <laughs> Maybe he was just looking at me funny and I didn't like it. <laughs> you guys had a history, man. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else going on with that day though? Is that it? Um, after I kill the monkey, wash off, get back with Anna. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked this monkey up, man. <laughs> man. That's not part of my perfect day. Now. <laughs> kill the monkey. There, there's no part of my perfect day where I'm like, I want to kill some animals today. <laughs> If anything, like a part of my perfect day would be like to walk out my backyard and just be like, oh, I'm fucking Noah's Ark of all the animals around me and all of them are cool. And they're all singing to you and shit. The, yeah. Good save. Singing to me like at the beginning of that movie, Rocket Doodle, Sean to Claire. Uh, yeah. He's like, yeah, he's got a scene to bring the sun up. Yeah, he does. Yeah, because the owls. The owls. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How cool would it be if you, in your like, Second story, master bedroom on the balcony. You go out there in the morning, and there's a giraffe head there to meet you. Yeah. You That'd be pretty dope. That head. Oh, yeah. That'd be dope. A <laughs> so couple cool. of them. I'm unable to pet them correctly, and then all of a sudden, a bunch of balloons sprung out from the top of my house, and it picks up from the <laughs> ground, <laughs> lifts up to where I can pet them on the head, and then I go up to the clouds. <laughs> there goes Jack. That's how my, that's how my day ends. Yeah, up nice. style, up style. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, perfect. Did you did you have any sex in uh, in your in your uh, perfect day? Oh, implied. gentleman, gentleman yeah. doesn't kiss and tell. Yeah, okay. And the DRM is and a monkey, dude. Did you hear him say he fucked that monkey? He clearly said he fucked that monkey. <laughs> Might have. <laughs> gentleman does not kiss and tell. <laughs> yeah, man. So you don't know what that monkey slicing is part of your perfect day. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You didn't know what that monkey was wearing. <laughs> <laughs> Crossbreeding. Perfect day. Perfect day. Connor, you wanted to know something. Um Yeah, what would you guys say is um the be- the greatest work of art known to mankind? And that could be anything. Anything that you could consider art, a structure, a painting. Now, when we say these perfect work of art, are we going to uh, be objective like, and just start tar- 
trash in what we think is our perfect piece of art? No. Okay. No, and this does not have to actually be a serious thing. If you want to say yeah. something dumb, I'm cool with it. I'm going to say something. Well, I don't think it's dumb. I, uh... Uh, I can start if you want. Yeah, bring it. Yeah, it. bring it, Caleb. The, what, uh, what do you think is perfect? Waterboy, the movie Waterboy. Oh, bro. It's good uh, choice. Yeah, it's uh, it's got family drama. It's got a love story. It's got a, a football in it. It's got a, a coach overcoming mental illnesses. Uh, it's got it's got everything in it. I, uh, I, uh, yeah, Waterboy. Nice. I like that. As far as comedies go, it falls under the category of a perfect comedy. Yeah. As far as films go, maybe a perfect film. Yeah. Yeah. Along those same lines, for me, the one thing that kept coming to my brain was The Matrix. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I think the first Matrix is about as perfect of a film as you can get. Yeah. Yeah. Had that wow factor. Still and still Mm -hmm. has that wow factor to this day. Yeah. As far as music goes, I was going to say Linkin Park's Meteora. Mm. For me, that's a perfect album. I love it every single second of it. Mm. Nice. Anybody else have any perfect work for it? Um, this is what initially made me think of this uh, topic, and I don't know if it actually is my answer or not. I'm going to keep going like this while I'm talking like about it. DJ. Uh, yeah. Bittersweet Symphony. I think it speaks to the human condition. <laughs> Better than most other songs. Okay. Um, and then also listen to. Uh, Is there, you're talking about the song. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, the other song that. I was like, this is the mirror to that song is Whatever You Like by T.I. <laughs> like, this is the other side of that perfect yeah. song that I was I looking for. So yeah. I'd say those two put together. And then like my one of my favorite structures has always been the Coliseum. Just the yeah. way it's designed. Ooh. And like the way that it, it like had so much like ingenuity yeah. in it, you know, oh, yeah. and made so much possible with those games. Um, yep. Really brought forward like modern stadium design yeah. in a lot of ways you know oh yeah um so I, i've always thought that was really cool connor can you give us your top three structures <clears throat> um that big old bridge mm, yep in san francisco yep. the golden gate mm-hmm. golden gate bridge um Good one. gotta be one of the with the great pyramids yeah have to be yeah and Easy. then um the great wall man yeah see it from space it's true so jackson top three structures uh man i cannot remember that uh, he was an architect from missouri he's got a famous building in new york that uh fucking you see at the beginning of men in black are you talking about the uh the flat iron building it i'm not sure it's called the flat iron building but it's uh like it's like a now it's a museum, but it, it's actually a house that's built in the middle of Missouri, and it's built right over a creek. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. okay. It's a very famous house. I would say that's probably one of my favorite pieces of architecture. Mm-hmm. Uh, the building I'm talking about is the one in New York. It's like a triangle. Oh, the one I'm thinking of, like it kind of looks like it's wave. Like it's got waves, you know? Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. That's, I don't know how to explain it. Um Love the Chrysler building. Yeah. I don't know why ever since a kid, I've just always liked the Chrysler building. And, uh, hmm. Fuck, the sphere. The sphere is fucking cool. It's pretty sphere cool. It is cool. It's sphere. pretty cool. Yeah. Caleb, I can't leave you out. Which top three structures, man? Top, uh, hijacking Connor's topic here. Sorry. Uh, let's see. I would say, uh, there's there's this one I don't know the name of the building but it's in uh, it's in Atlanta Georgia and it's a, it's a skyscraper but uh, it uh, it's got uh, it's got these uh, things on the side of it makes it look like Batman's head uh, his ears okay or the Eye of Sauron uh, oh yeah yeah it kind of looks like that yeah uh, but uh, yeah uh, that's uh, that's one of them um, and then the other one I'd say is uh, just the uh, uh, the St Louis Arch things wild mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know if uh, I don't know how. Uh, never been in it, but I uh, plan to it at some point. You know, lived in Missouri for I don't know, 12, 13 years. But uh, yeah, let's say those two. Oh, did you say three? Yeah. Uh, I 
Uh, Leaning Tower Pizza keeps popping in my mind. Uh, I that works. Yeah. It's still standing. <laughs> still standing. Yeah. yeah. And it's uh, still, <laughs> still, you know, leaning. Still leaning. <laughs> now lean back. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, Kyle. Yeah, uh, the one building I said earlier, the Flatiron Building. Oh, yeah. Do you guys know what building that is? It's the uh, the headquarters in the boys. Uh, okay, but yeah. it's in everything. I think it's the Daily Bugle and Spider Man. Okay. I, I want to say, okay. but it's in so much shit. It's just like a triangular building in New York, and it looks real thin uh, and triangular. Oh, the one yeah, that goes down that Main yeah. Street. Yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, it's in so much media, dude. I think it's. I I want to say it's in Wanted as well, or it's in Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much most. Movies with New York in it, yeah. yeah. And then I'm gonna say uh, I've always been fascinated with uh, what's the fucking thing in Paris? Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Yeah. And then um, the Taka Takanashi Plaza, or t- what's it called? From fucking Die Hard. Uh, from Die Hard. Die Hard. Nagasaki Tower. No, oh man. Yeah, it's. A- <sighs> It's like Nakatomi Tower. Nakatomi, yeah. Nakatomi. Nakatomi Plaza. Plaza. Ooh, that one guy, the architecture I was trying to think of earlier, the one from Missouri, his name is Frank Lloyd Wright. Oh, yeah. Dude's famous Mm. as hell. Nice. And I think that museum is called the Guggenheim. Mm. Mm. Okay, Okay, yeah, I've heard of the Guggenheim. (laughs) Mainly from Esther Deeds. Yep. Anybody else got perfect? Their perfect work of art. Anna de Armas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the woman, like the female body yeah, in general. For sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's something I can get behind. Mm. And these rock hard abs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I don't have rock hard abs. <laughs> One day. One day. Um. I would say a perfect work of art. Random Access Memories by Daft Punk. Dude. It is a really good one, yeah. It's funny you said that. Uh, when I was thinking about music, what's the album by Daft Punk? Um, Discovery? Yeah, mm-hmm. Discovery. That's the uh, That was coming to my brain. <clears throat> perfect. But Random Access Those two memories. albums are... 10 out of 11 out of 10 actually they're better than perfect they're so good those are their best albums if you exclude the tron soundtrack tron soundtrack is weird because there's uh, some good songs and there's some that are just like what what is this this is just it's like it's a it's meant to be cinematic so interlude right yeah yeah i enjoy interludes yeah yeah the interludes are some of my favorite parts of periphery too right Mm. you're right those are good I love me a good interlude. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we hit that. I think we did it. Nailed it. Hit that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anna de Armas is uh, the greatest piece of artwork ever in the history, though. You really think so? No, nah, I'm sure I could probably think of another female right now, like off the top of my head, that would be like, yo, her specifically is like, she's next level. Oh, yeah. I hope she's not watching this later. <laughs> Yeah, because you just blew it. Yeah, just blew She's it. Like, I thought, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't think I ever had a shot with Anna Darmus. You just opened the door yeah. for me, bro. <laughs> well, I wish you luck, Connor. I hope you. I hope you. I hope you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do. Nice. You know what else we do? Help Jackson quit his job. Nope. We go into Yo, dude. Check this okay. out. Okay. <laughs> Yo, dude. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo, dude! Yo, dude, check this out. CartoonNetwork.com has shut down. <gasps> what? Yes. What? CartoonNetwork.com has shut down. What? Why is it shut down? Um, I don't know. I just said that uh, I read this article saying that it shut down and it reroutes you to like an HBO thing. Did the Cartoon Network shut down? CartoonNetwork.com shut down. Okay, not the just, not okay. the station, just the gotcha. .com website. Gotcha. Oh, that's what they're saying. That's I don't well. agree with that. Let's all check it on our phones really quick. Let's Easter. make sure. Because I saw <laughs> they also stopped Boomerang streaming service. Did they really? Yeah. Because Boomerang changed to a streamer. 
Yeah. And then they canceled Broomerang like a week or two ago. Dang. Mm hmm. Warner Brothers, man. Yeah. Y'all are fucking up. They really are fucking up hard, man. Where's Infamous 3? Or where's fucking, uh, what's yeah. that called? Injustice. Where's Injustice, Injustice. 3? Where's Injustice 3? Yeah, it just it reroutes you to uh, Max.com. We all know Max.com yeah. sucks. No more Cartoon Network.com. It's gone. Dang. Yep. End of an era, man. Yep. Yo, dude, check this out. You guys remember that movie Elysium with Matt Damon? Yeah. 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 I wish I could forget that movie. <laughs> There's a Neil Blomkamp joint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, originally, it was not supposed to be Matt Damon playing that part. It was actually supposed to be Marshall Mathers Eminem. That would have been so really? fucking weird. Yeah. I bet it could have probably been... a. I don't want to say a different movie, but I would have had a different feel to it to like see Eminem play the leading role of like a movie that wasn't him just playing Eminem, you know? Right. <laughs> Try to be an action hero. <laughs> I think it probably would have ended up a little bit worse than it did. You're bad. <laughs> but I still would have liked to have seen like a different actor than Matt Damon, you know? Mm hmm. Because basically Matt Damon was just like, all right, give me this, the exact same look that I took on in Euro Trip and put me in this Elysium movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't didn't like any of his stuff. Like, what the heck, man? When, when are we going to get another District 9? Yeah. yeah. I've been waiting for a sequel for that. And supposedly he says, like, there's one in the works. Yeah, I've heard that. I've been hearing pro like production yeah. nightmares on that ever since that movie came out. Because yeah. supposedly it was always supposed to have a sequel. It, mm. it was built like uh, it was supposed to have a sequel, yeah. Right. I bet it's going to be one of those movies that we get a sequel for it 20 years later. And then it's going to be like, whoa, we finally got one. We're just about there. And it's like straight to TV and it, it's not good. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you never know. You never know. Yeah. Friggin never know. the movie Psycho got a s sequel for it like two, like 20 years later. And it's arguably the best of, like, all the Psycho movies that they have made. Because yeah. I think they've made, like, four or five. Okay. Cool. Mm. Psycho 2. Don't sleep on that one. It's good. Psycho 2. Mm. It brings back the original, I think, the original guy or whatever. The so. original Psycho? Yeah. Oh. Alfred Hitchcock. Wow. 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 Original Psycho, huh? Yeah, man. I'm telling you, it's pretty good actually. The original one? No, yeah. the second one. Yeah. The, ori the original Psycho, Psycho is kind of meh. Yeah. But Psycho 2. That's the good one. It is okay. a good one. It's one of those movies that like n hardly nobody knows about it. Yeah. Almost everybody knows more about the shot for shot remake that they did of Psycho with Vince Vaughn. Mm. Like, mm. came out like in 2000 or something like that. I do not remember that one. That's because it sucked. Okay. They literally just did a shot for shot remake of the original Psycho, which if you've seen the really? original Psycho, yeah. you would know it needs yeah. to be updated. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, dude. Um, <clears throat> I got curious a few days ago about WD-40. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As one does. Often. Yeah. Because I've heard from several people over the years that it's not a lubricant. But it is. It's made of multiple lubricants. The WD stands for water displacement. Mm. Um, I'm going <clears> to <throat> read you guys a few facts about WD-40. Okay? Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Myths <laughs> myths, and legends. This is from WD-40's book. How long book. is this going to take? It'll take as long as it needs to. <laughs> Can you rap rapid fire them? I'm going to try. Okay. But these are things that people need to know about WD-40. Uh, WD-40... Uh, the mixture is, I guess, supposedly very small. Okay. It's not as crazy as you think it is. Okay. But they'll never release it. It's in a vault. <laughs> okay. Like, okay. It's okay. on a single pad of note paper. It's that small of an ingredient list. Wow. Um, contrary to popular belief, you can use it on a bike chain. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Sometimes you hear, don't use it on a bike chain, but you can use it on a bike chain. All right. And that's pretty much the only thing I've ever used it on is bike chains <laughs> <laughs> and rusty yeah. door hinges. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, contrary to popular belief, there is no fish oil in WD-40. I know you guys thought there was fish oil in there. <laughs> <No>. My whole <laughs> life I've been going through <clears throat> thinking WD-40 had fucking fish oil. Uh, I thought it was all fish oil. It's <laughs> not. It's, it's not. It's not one of the... Four, it's not... It's not part of the ingredient list. Yeah. My life is a lie. But they'll never tell you what the ingredient list yeah. is. Um, it probably is fish oil. That's them throwing, uh, throwing us off their fucking yeah, scent. We're screen. on to you. Yeah. Classic yes, smoke screen. Classic yeah. smoke screen. <laughs> uh, WD-40 does not cure arthritis in humans. Contrary to popular belief. Yeah. That's a popular thing. It's a myth. You get squeaky joints, right? You know, I guess if you're the tin man, that's the <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say someone watch Wizard of Oz and think like, <laughs> dude, <laughs> the fucking <laughs> cure for the <laughs> squeaky. It's been in front of us our entire time. <laughs> um one time a bus driver in Asia used W D forty to remove a python which had coiled itself around the undercarriage of his bus. So it can get rid of p- pythons. If you blind them, yeah. <laughs> Spray anything into their eyes. Oh, what? Get out of there. Uh, a police officer once used WD-40 to remove a naked burglar trapped in an air conditioning vent. Well, yeah, that can yeah. happen. You use butter. Yeah, butter. Conditioner. There's metal involved, so he's like, fuck it. I'm using so, WD-40. Yeah. WD-40 is like pseudo bear spray. Huh. It can be. If you get them in the eyes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um... Crayons, if you get crayons on your walls, WD-40 can be used to get crayons off your walls. Um, But that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, Leslie Nielsen portrayed uh, in the movie uh, Spy Hard. You guys ever heard of Spy Hard? No. But in that movie, his code name was Agent WD-40. It's like a spoof of 007. 007, obviously. Nice. But um, those are some just some basic facts about WD-40. I didn't get to hear the main one that I was really interested in, which is, is it s- sex safe? You know? No. no. Yeah. It's not? No. Uh, no. Not, for, not for internal use. Yeah. No. Not that kind of oil. It'll mess you up. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's not going to help that cucumber I got in the fridge go in deeper? <laughs> in the fridge, yes. In the you, no. Uh, <laughs> but uh, if you guys want any more WD forty facts, go to WD forty dot com. They're there for you. Nice. If you want any cucumber tips, hit up Connor. <laughs> He's got the. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll nah. teach you how to go from cucumber to pickle Ooh. overnight. <laughs> nice. He's got overnight. the. He's overnight. got the overnight. skills. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, uh, this has been episode one hundred and forty eight. Caleb, thanks for being here. Thanks yeah, for having me. I had a blast. It's Appreciate it. Episode 140 since you've been on. It's been, Eight weeks. It's been too long. Yeah. Too long. Seems like a lifetime. Almost too... Uh, uh, is, it, is it too late to apologize? No. It's no. never too late. Okay. Start with Jackson. It's too late to apologize. <laughs> I'm, I'm it's sorry, Jackson. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, apologize to the audience. I'm um, I'm sorry, audience. I uh, it won't be another eight weeks. I promise you. Hmm. And we apologize to the audience as well. I don't. <laughs> Feel I'm a rebel. I would like to apologize. I'm a bad boy, Anna. He's a bad boy. <laughs> you, you, know you want this? <laughs> a fucking tree is so good. You have no idea. <laughs> like that thanks for listening yeah <laughs> thanks for getting this far thanks for watching bye 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 for real though oh watch just just skip through the movie knock knock till you get to the shower scene <laughs> it's worth it <coughs> mm. if I was Keanu Reeves I would succumb in that situation too Oh, it's so calm. Crashing with friends. Podcast.